It's a wolf. It's a man. Oh. It's killer pain. Oh. What is up, guys? In this video, we're gonna do airdrop point C3 map on purple flare using shotgun, handgun, and assault rifle. Doesn't matter what stars, doesn't matter what durability it is on, just as long as you farm it from slum and parking lot. Shotguns can be attained from Sherry Station. If you're a first timer or haven't memorized the waves yet, I would suggest getting an extra guns just in case things hit the fan. I actually have another box full of 2 star shotguns so I'm gonna be using 2 stars and then we'll be hiring Jane. After that, I would recommend an armored set. Why? Cause creepy flower hits like a <laughs> So just in case one of your turrets goes down or your defense kits run out, well then, you will be fine with armored set. As for the repair kits, always bring 40. Like I said, you never know what's gonna happen, so better ready than sorry. As for the healing items, bring two different stacks of food so that using them will heal you simultaneously and allow you to heal faster over time, especially when you're stunned. That way, you don't have to spam your antibiotics. Only use antibiotics when your infection rate is above 100. As for the defense kits, I would actually recommend 2 star fences. As for the turrets, use 3 stars if you want to save up your weapon's durability or 2 stars if you have a lot of weapons. As for the setup of defenses, we're gonna be using the Killing Corridor. Shout out to Banana Cookie for introducing this strategy. You can check his videos out and the links will be in the description below. So basically what this strategy does is those two vertically aligned fences that you see together attracts the zombies from the back door and all the zombies that spawn from the right side will end up crowding those two fences which gives you a safe area on the top corner. If you happen to be positioned near the back door then chances are the zombies that spawns from the back door will come straight to you. At wave 3, make sure you get rid of the infectious bear and once you do, you pull out your shoddy and start gunning them. <laughs> ah, just like that. But wait, don't get too comfortable. You gotta get rid of this creepy flower on the left side. This is also the crucial time to start watching your fences health box. To use the repair kit, simply click the icon that's located at, under the map and it will prompt your screen like this and you'll be able to choose which ones to repair. I would suggest repairing them between one fourth and one half of their health. That way you don't waste your repair kits. Now, Here's two things you need to keep in mind. At around wave 5, 6, 7, you would need to stay on this middle spot right here so that you can avoid being stunned by the Creepy Flowers AOE. But at the same time, you would have to focus killing on the left side while repairing the fence kits on the right side. Of course, that goes without saying that you also need to repair the left side. And at around wave 7, you would have to often click the repair kit icon because you cannot actually see the health bar of the fences on the very far right side. And of course, we don't want that creepy flower that just spawned from the back door on our butts. 
So we gotta stay our ground and let him head straight to the killing corridor. Always check the fences. And once you see that the left side doesn't spawn any more zombies, it's time to pull up that shotgun and spread those bullets like a wildfire. Rawr. Ah, what a better way to level up your shotgun skills in your perk system. Ooh, look at them go. It's beautiful. Watch out for the AOE though. And once you turn them down to at least 5 zombies or so, then you may stop using your repair kit and let your turrets and other fences go to work. At this point in time, you can actually just relax and let them beat themselves to death and you may just start looting the driver's license easy peasy right yeah we'll just grab the driver's license and then we'll check out the rewards now before you could say oh the rewards are not worth it you're just using too much cab or too much blah 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 the point of doing this is to level up Wendy's reputation therefore you can unlock better defense kits which then allows you to balance the usage of your weapons and gears and also allowing you to do a harder difficulty and ultimately giving you better chances of dropping better loots a lot of people start rushing doing the harder difficulty and complaining about using up too much weapons it's like come on bro think about it Anyways, I hope you learned something valuable. As always, thank you for watching, like, and subscribe. Peace.